After tonight's Big Nuggets game, they're going to look at the numbers, as in Denver's COVID statistics, to make sure that packing Ball Arena for the first time doesn't create a ripple in public health. She's the governor's dream because her family was hesitant to get the vaccine, and now they have the shots and a million dollars. Tucked into a library at CU Boulder are records of when the government was taking UFOs very seriously and asked a Colorado for help. And speaking of unidentified flying objects, what in the world is this? The answer, next. Ball Arena's never had a sellout crowd. Place is called Pepsi Center the last time that fans were allowed to fill each seat. They'll do it tonight for the Nuggets playoff game. Denver's top public health expert told our Marshall Zellinger which stat line he's going to be tracking. Tomorrow will be 15 months since this. March 12, 2020, the last time a sellout event was allowed at then Pepsi Center, now Ball Arena. Then it was post Malone. Tonight, it's Coach Malone. The Denver Nuggets host the Phoenix Suns for Game 3 of the NBA Playoff Conference Semifinals and can have 100% capacity. Ball Arena has had thousands of people in for previous events, and we have not seen case numbers go, go, go up. We've not seen any outbreaks stemming from that. So I think we're going to be in good shape. They submitted a thoughtful mitigation plan to include face coverings and actually spent a great deal of money on increasing ventilation. So I think we're going to be all right. I asked Bob McDonald, executive director of Denver's Department of Public Health and Environment, what statistic he'll look at to be sure a full capacity arena did not result in a COVID-19 outbreak. Well, we look at positivity rate, we look at case rate, we look at hospital admissions. But again, specific to the decision about allowing increased capacity, we're going to take a look at what have we seen with the capacity that we've been at? Have we seen cases or outbreaks stemming from Ball Arena? What have we been able to find out through our contact tracing and case investigation efforts? And we have not seen anything. Uh, cases continue to drop. You know what else continues to drop? The number of people getting tested for COVID-19. Based on the state's dashboard, the number of tests are in a steady decline. Tests help determine positivity rate, which McDonald said would not be the only statistic to consider anyway. For people who are vaccinated, they really have very, very little to worry about. For people who are not vaccinated, I would strongly encourage that they stay away from these types of events because they are still uh, susceptible to uh, getting uh, COVID-19. Here's why testing data may not be as reliable as it has been. McDonald said lately, people getting tested are symptomatic, which can skew positivity rates compared to late last year when people would get tested, Kyle, just out of concern. What are they doing with the testing sites then if folks aren't so interested in testing that anymore? Yeah, I was thinking about that. Plus, with the, the parking perhaps needed at Pepsi Center now, but the state says that they're not doing away with the state-run sites and that they're among the highest for getting tested in the country. So they're still, we're in that window, that, uh, that gray area, I guess, of you got the vaccinated people, you've got people still wanting to get tested, and, and we're in that fluctuation of which one's going to outweigh the other. And at some point, you're going to have to do away with the testing sites or at least minimize where they are, maybe not take up an entire parking lot of an arena that can now sell out. Yeah, hopefully, Marshall, the signage is really good. Could, could you imagine that? I mean, you're pulling in there and it's like, no, no, I'm, I'm here for the Nuggets parking. Stop swabbing me. Stop swabbing me. Yeah, no, I'm sure the signage will be very, very clear. Thank you, Marshall. Enjoy your weekend.